The year was 1850. Emily was to elope with the man she so dearly loved. He requested she meet him on the morrow at the Goldbrook Bridge. Emily eagerly agreed. Early the next day, with a hand-picked bouquet of flowers, he set out to meet Emily, who was quite beside herself with anticipation to see him. Along the way and just below the bridge, he met with an unfortunate accident that took his life. His soul rose, but only to see his body still laying on the ground beneath him. In denial, he desperately gathered that there had been some mistake. Seeing Emily above, he waved to her, but to no avail. He desperately sought to be with her. Sensing he was near, the very thought that he would never come began to drive her insane. He began to realize that destiny was calling him elsewhere. Looking into the heavens, he realized what he must do. As Emily's frustrations grew, she paced the bridge in a maddening frenzy of despair. The long and lonely hours seemed like an eternity to her. Day passed into night. Finding an old rope, Emily fashioned a hangman's noose. She threw it over a rafter climbed up on an old stump, placed the noose around her neck, and hung herself until she was quite dead. Emily's soul immediately lamented at the decision that brought no comfort. The gravity of her situation left her more alone than ever, and more crazed than was her nature to ever be. She tried to flee, but was trapped inside a coffin of utter regret and despair. Emily's soul became something loathsome to behold. The years turned into decades. The century turned and then turned again. And still she remained to lash out at those unfortunate enough to traverse the Gold Brook River. Then one day, Emily sensed something that took her into the light for the first time in 60 and 100 years. Her beloved had finally returned. Without hesitation, he took her hand and these soulmates escaped this wooden prison that had come to be known as Emily's Bridge. <laughs>